Good morning, friends. So today I'm going to start, is that a big bruise? Shit. I'm going to start um, a new series on my channel today. Um, kind of being honest with my weight and holding me accountable. So I'm going to step on the scale and... Okay, so here we go. Here's today's starting weight. Okay, so as I'm starting today's weight, I do want to say that I know that the scale, first of all, doesn't define you, but I know that progress doesn't always match the scale, so I know that. Um, so, you know, if I don't lose weight but I'm looking better, I understand that. So, I am just going to try to keep on track, keep my progress going, and we will go from there. So today is day one of getting back on track and a new series to hold myself accountable and for other people who um, aren't necessarily, you know, the skinniest people and want to do a fitness journey. And for those people who watch other people who are super skinny and you keep trying to be like them but you fail after a couple days because they're already that way. I just want to be able to maybe inspire or help anybody who also is not the skinniest person and needs to lose weight, a little overweight like me. And I want to be an advocate that you can do it. And this will also hold myself accountable that I can do it. So, day one, everyone, day one. Hello, friends. So, I am back home. I work today. And um, I haven't gone grocery shopping yet, so um, today I ordered food from next door, so I got an omelet. I mean, obviously not the best thing you can get, but I got an omelet and some pancakes. I did not eat all of my pancakes, and I didn't finish all of my omelet because I was too full. Obviously, those are not the healthiest choices for starting back on day one, but... I tried like it's, it's a slow process it's a slow start so um, I just had some oats um, which I've been craving so I had oats with honey and a little bit of peanut butter in there and now I think I'm gonna go to the gym um, I wanted to say that um, I am gonna just be real and I'm gonna show my weight on here it's gonna be my progress I'm very, 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 very embarrassed and nervous. Hi. I'm very, very nervous and embarrassed to um, show my weight, especially out there on YouTube. I mean, everyone can see it, but it is, it's, it's real life. This is my life. This is, this is who I am. And obviously I put progress pictures on my Instagram, things like that. So if you think I weighed less than what I did versus from my pictures, then thank you. I am overweight. I am heavy for my size. I've fallen off the bandwagon um, the past couple weeks, months actually. Um, and so I'm ready to get back on track and I, I need to start. So I figured by starting a series and holding myself accountable on YouTube um, and I'm I'm hoping that it'll make it me actually stick to my goals and um, a workout journey and progress and uh, your fitness journey is not going to be um, just a straight progress that goes, you know, you're doing amazing and you go up. It is going to be ups and downs and battles and struggles and you're going to fall off the wagon, you're going to get back onto it. It's going to be a struggle. And it's gonna be hard to balance that between with real life and working and that's why I want to do this because I just want other people to know that you are not alone and trying to do your fitness journey and it is possible to achieve it maybe we'll find out together I guess and I just want to show people that they're not alone and we are gonna we're gonna be on track together Hi, ma'am. Do, do you have any filter? Do you care? <laughs> so anyways, I just wanted to start by saying that um, 
I know with my talk this morning, I was kind of all over the place. I just woke up, so I was all over the place, and um, I just wanted to get out there right now and talk to you guys a little bit about everything. So I'm going to go and head to the gym right now, um, a little bit later than what I wanted to do, but I'm feeling really motivated all of a sudden, so I'm going to head to the gym, and maybe I'll take you with me, otherwise I'll see you afterwards. Okay, back from the gym, I did a little bit of triceps and biceps, and then I did some hit cardio. Not gonna lie, was not my best session at the gym because I forgot my headphones. Does anyone know what it's like to forget your headphones when you get to the gym? Ah, oh, it was miserable, but that's okay. I got a half hour in, and a half hour is better than nothing, so I'm gonna go inside, probably have a protein shake or something like that, and then maybe I'll start to edit this video of day one. Hello YouTube. Me and Jerrica drove to Marquette today. Even though Northern was Even though, yeah, the college here is canceled because of the snowy weather. Maybe I'm not wearing the best appropriate shoes. Anyways, we are off to go to Jessica and Company or Jessica and Co. I'm gonna get eyelash extensions and Jerrica is going to get a haircut. So we're just walking there because there's nowhere to park here. Tomato basil soup. Sandwich with veggie, veggie chips. <laughs> Look at Jerrica's booth of hair. <laughs> She's eating. kind of spicy. Counting every second to you next to me, boy. Every night you always get the best of me, boy. Multiply, get it right. Gravity is how my own. else go into a store to get two things and come out with a million things I literally had to go into the store to get q-tips and shampoo for Kyle and the first time I went in I got the shampoo and enough stuff to make my total $40 and on my way out I realized shit I forgot the q-tips go back in the store and I'm leaving with $50 worth of stuff Please tell me I ain't not the only one this happens to. Ah! Like my back seat is. Those are all bags. I went a little crazy today. It's my birthday week. It's fine, right? I made it back home from shopping, and I f I did get the two things that Kyle needed, um, and I I uh, bought a lot more stuff. So I thought I'd show you guys all the random stuff I bought today. Because I did go to Marquette, I did go to TJ Maxx, I got some cool stuff, so, well, cool to me anyway. So, I already apologized to Kyle for these, but I have this weird obsession with buying water bottles. So I have this new one, 32 ounces. I like the color of it. This weird obsession with this color. Then, I got this big boy, which is 64 ounces, so, trying to keep my water intake. I feel like the best way to drink a lot of water and to get yourself to drink a lot of water is by drinking out of beautiful water bottles. So, hence why I have so many water bottles. So, the other thing I bought today was this giant head. So it's hollow, so it's actually really light. It's cute, I love it. I did buy this one. Oh boy, it's not broken, I didn't break it. I did buy this cute little one um, a couple weeks ago, but now I have this big one. 
So I'm excited. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with them yet, where I'm gonna put them. My Zen room is still in the process of being decorated. So as soon as I have it fully decorated, I will probably do a Zen room tour. Is that even something anyone is interested in? Probably not. Anyways, the other thing I got, which is actually really heavy, is this. These rocks, which is very heavy, but they're all Zen-like balanced. So I got that. It, like I said, it is actually really heavy, so I'm gonna put that down. So, woo, woo, to fit in with all the other uh, YouTube models. Like I'm never gonna be a model, but I got Calvin Klein bottoms, and I got the top. I'm not gonna lie, I got the top in a large because big boob girls, but I really don't think that it's even gonna fit me because my boobs are slightly big. And if you know me in real life, you know that. So I got the large, we'll see how it goes. I also got some fish oil because I am out. Um, so obviously that's a must. My knees have been hurting me a lot lately. Um, I've had knee pain on and off for a while, but um, I decided to get some Bacosamine tablets also, um, just to try to maybe help my joints uh, see what's really going on. I also got this new Elf Hydrating Bubble Mask. I'm like super into masks right now, which you'll see in a hot second. Um, so I got this one. I don't know, I'm trying to make my skin better. I have a lot of like, scars kind of on my chin and so I just want to start taking better care of my skin in general so well this is fancy so I will give you guys a review on how this hydrating bubble mask goes but I'm kind of excited about it on with masks I got a lot of um like little sample ones um because a lot of them have like the bigger version of it um, with more in it but I wanted to see like which ones I like the most so I got this super cheapy one from Walmart um, just a peel off one because I kind of wanted to peel off one to like really peel out stuff um, but then I got this purifying black charcoal mask so hydrate and moisture which I for sure need and then I also got this collagen hydrogel gold mask Looks kind of fancy. So, I'm excited about that. And I didn't know they made them for men. So, I got this one, which has 5 in 1 total control clay mask with whiskey rye. Fights against blackhead, oil, dryness, irritation, and large pores. For Kyle. Beard friendly, Kyle. So, AK mustache friendly. And then I also got this one, which is pure clearing peel off mask with volcanic ash deep cleans clears, refines, and tones pores. So these two. And then, I don't think I meant to buy this one, but I also bought this Spearmint Deep Pore Cleansing Peel Off, which is also for men. So, we'll see if I can get Kyle to do these. We'll see. I mean, it's gonna be a long shot, but we'll see. What, we'll see. Then, I also got the Bior, um, deep cleansing pore strips. I already have some for like my nose, but like I said, right here, I like my face is really dry, except for I feel like my nose and then like right here. So um, I have some for my nose, but I saw these that can go like right here or right here, which I don't have a lot of problems up here, but like right here. So I figured these would be good to also do um, down here. So I'm excited to try that too. And last but not least, I bought the chain smoker CD because I've been obsessed with the chain smokers lately so got a CD that is pretty much all I got today don't worry I did get Kyle's q-tips and his shampoo no worries I got them so I am excited to try out the stuff and I got my lashes done today I didn't want like any like extreme lash type deal, but my eyelashes are really little, so I just wanted a little bit of something, something. Ooh, ooh. We'll see how they go. So, dates. So obviously, I just got them a couple hours ago. So far, I like them. Um, they're not bothering me, anything like that. So, 
I will keep you guys updated with how that goes. I forgot to let you guys know that um, today I did weigh myself. Um, I'm gonna try not to weigh myself every single day um, because, like I said um, earlier in this video, which was from yesterday, that your progress doesn't always match the scale and obviously this is only day two and I didn't eat like the best so far today because um, I we went and got frozen yogurt and stuff like that but um, so I'm gonna try not to wear myself every single day because I don't want to become obsessed with the number um, but I did wear myself today um, and I'm down 0.8 pounds so yesterday I was 134 I was not 134 I wish 184 today I was 134 30 I was not 130 I was 183.2 oh I wish I was in my 30s anyways um, I was weighed 183.2 so I went down 0.8 which could be water it's not like that's I'm not really gonna go off that so I did not show that this morning um, I, I might only weigh myself like once a week I don't know, I'm still determining because I've heard some people say to weigh yourself every single day and then take the average of that and then go off that weekly. But then I've also heard people say to just weigh yourself once a week. So I guess I'm going to kind of think about what I'm going to do and go from there. But um, so I went down a little bit. Could be water, could be anything. Um, so I did go to the gym yesterday. I don't know if I'm going to go today. I might go today still. I don't know. Um... I have a couple things going on. I really need to finish my wedding invitations, so I just, we'll see, we'll see. But I'm going to eat good the rest of the night, and I think I'm going to end this vlog here so I can upload it and end it for you guys, and then we'll continue with the series. I'm still thinking of a clever name, but if you have any ideas, leave a comment below, like this video, if, give it a thumbs up if you're into this series or if you're excited to watch it. And subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for watching.